Hi everyone, this is Ankit, founder of SumTracker app. In this video, we are going to look at what is SumTracker, who is it for, and also look at its product demo. SumTracker is an inventory management app for your e-commerce business. It is great for single store owners as well as those having multiple stores. It is basically a central dashboard where you can control all your inventory movement on the stores, automate a lot of tasks, and take important decisions regarding your inventory at the right time. So let's dive in and have a look at some of the features that SumTracker has. So first up is multi-channel inventory sync, where you can keep inventory on all your different stores in sync with SumTracker. Then there are many automation features which sellers are looking for. For example, uh, sometimes you want to keep the inventory of a lot of your listings as the same. So that is possible with some tracker and uh, then we have bundles and kits so you can automate the inventory updates for all your bundles as well as get the reports that you are uh, looking for uh, more detailed reports about your component sales. Then we have very easy uh, way for you to update inventory so you can either bulk upload them through a uh, simple CSV files or use the some tracker interface. We also support purchase orders so you can easily track your incoming stock, send POs to your vendors and uh, manage them as a whole. We have detailed inventory reporting where you can get detailed log of all your inventory movements uh, across all platforms and also get uh, into details of like you know inventory snapshot at a past date, sales reports, purchase reports. So all those are there for you to take the important inventory decisions. Uh, we also support multiple locations, so uh, people having multiple locations can manage their stock easily. We support low stock alerts and we have bulk imports and exports for everything, so you can do things fast. And we also have API access for automation. So now let's look at the product demo of SumTracker. So as soon as you uh, install the SumTracker app, you can connect your stores and some tracker pulls in all your product listings from your stores. Initially, the inventory sync is off. So uh, the inventory from some tracker will start syncing to your stores only when you turn this setting on. When turning this setting on, you get the option to import in, uh, the currently available inventory on your store. And once you turn on the sync, some tracker becomes the central point from where inventory is being updated from your, on your stores. So if you get an order on one of the stores, let's say Shopify, then inventory of that product is going to be updated on all the other stores. Now let us see how products get created in some tracker from your listings. When you go to the products list, you can see that all your listings have synced here. We sync your listings based on unique SKUs. So if two of your listings have the same SKU, then they are linked to the same product in some tracker. So if you are connecting multiple stores, then the same products should ideally have the same SKU on both the stores so that uh, you can maintain the inventory of all your listings through the same product. In the product list, you can see there are multiple columns for stock, so uh, let me tell what these columns represent. So in stock is the physical stock that you have in your warehouse. Booked is how much uh, stock is currently booked in open orders, but is, it is not shipped yet. Available inventory is what is updated on your store. So it is in stock minus booked, which is already committed in open orders. Incoming is how much product is incoming through purchase orders. Then we have alert threshold. Alert threshold can be set uh, for each product so that you get an alert when you uh, when that product goes low in stock. Now look, let's look at one of the products uh, and its properties. So for example, this one. So we save all these details, the images uh, from your listing. While you can set uh, the alert threshold, close at quantity, uh, cost per item, all these details directly in some tracker. 
either through this uh, product page or through an Excel import. Listings tab here shows the number of listings this uh, product is linked to. Inventory is the inventory at uh, different locations. Inventory history is a log of all the uh, inventory movements that have happened. So some tracker keeps a log uh, every time the, stock, uh, the inventory of that item is changed. Purchase prices are used uh, while creating purchase orders. So you can have, uh, you can create a purchase price and specify a particular supplier SKU or uh, the shipping price, the supplier which you are buying it from to help you make the purchase orders. So the product list shows uh, the aggregate stock at all your locations. So if you are uh, having multiple locations, then it makes sense to check the stock by location report where it shows a breakdown of uh, the inventory at all your locations separately and you can also filter out with uh, with uh, each location and uh, see the stock situation there so let us look at the adjust stock options in some tracker we have several ways in which you can adjust your stock one of them is through adjust stock table which is quick and easy you can come here to add subtract or set the stock for any product so let us say I search for a particular product and I want to set a stock to a value. Then I can easily do it from here and I can also add stock. And I can also have a look at the recent inventory history. What changes occurred uh, for this product. Adjust stock forms is just another way to uh, make the inventory changes. I can select a reason why this change is happening and I can add all the products uh, here and select the adjustment type. I can also upload a file. So let's say I want to make changes to a lot of products at once. Then I can use a CSV file and with just two inventory columns SQ and quantity and import this to some tracker and the inventory changes will happen. So as soon as you make an inventory adjustment in some tracker, it is updated immediately on your online store. Then we have stock transfer. If I want to transfer between different locations, I can use this form. Now let us look at bundles in some tracker. So bundles are products where inventory of one product is dependent on some other products. So let me go through various examples of bundles. For example, uh, coffee mugs pack of six. Let's say the inventory of uh, this pack depends on single coffee mugs. And I have 110 of these single ones available in stock. So at most I can fulfill 18 of these uh, packs of six. That's what I have defined on this page. So I don't need to control uh, the packs of six inventory on my store anymore. I can just uh, have the individual mugs and some tracker will take care of updating the inventory of the bundle. Another example is when uh, one product is dependent on some other base product. So for example, let us say I have a print on demand business and uh, I just have these white t-shirts in stock and I control the inventory of all the other uh, t-shirt I, I make customized from this one. Uh, through this bundle so uh, whenever this uh, t-shirt this bundle sells the inventory of its component is decreased and it all and all the other bundles which are dependent on this component are also updated so the same can be used if you have uh, the same product listed with multiple S the different SKUs you can just come here and uh, define which SKU is dependent on which one and I can also have my bundle such that it has multiple different products with different quantities. So the inventory of this tools box is now dependent on uh, how much minimum stock I have so that I can uh, fulfill this uh, product. Now bundle stock is also calculated uh, for each location. So if you have multiple locations, 
then you can come to bundle stock by location report and see how much stock is being updated for each of your locations separately. Let's have a look at purchase orders now briefly. So in some tracker you can uh, manage and maintain your purchase orders through different statuses. You can receive stock partially and uh, you can send uh, POs to your vendors and track the incoming stock. So for example, this is the purchase order. I can take a print. And I can you know, save this as a PDF and send to my vendor. I can also receive the stock partially. So for example, in this one, I received 30 out of 40 pieces. For this, I have received the whole, uh, all the stock. I can create different receive notes to receive the stock partially. And I can view all the receive notes created against this PO here. I also have purchase prices. So uh, for example, each product can have its own set of multiple purchase prices. And these prices are used uh, while creating purchase orders. For example, this one has uh, a purchase price of 15 and I can specify which supplier I buy it from uh, the supplier SKU, which is to be printed on the PO for supplier reference and pack sizes so if i purchase this product in packs so all this can be managed and i can save a list of uh, all my suppliers here along with their contract uh, details and addresses now let us look at the reports we have so we have several reports to help you for example the sales by product report this product reports how much uh, of each product has sold in a given period and from uh, each store. You can also know how many uh, components were sold as a bundle. So for example, if two of these packs were sold, pack of six and pack of four, that means 10 of my coffee mugs were sold as part of a bundle. So it is important to know the consumption of each of my components as well. So this report uh, gives you that. Then I have sales by store. I can see uh, the sales by different stores uh, on one platform by selecting a date range. I can see a log of all the uh, items for which I have got the orders for. So uh, this report can be helpful if you just want to track a product and see what all the orders that you, ha you have got for that product. Then we have purchase reports where you can see an aggregated report by uh, by product, by each uh, supplier and logs where you can see a drill down for each item. What is the status? When is it due? And uh, uh, how, how often was it ordered? Then we have detailed inventory log where we track the inventory movement of each item. And you can uh, apply various filters to know exactly what happened to a particular product. Then we have an inventory snapshot where you can just go back in time on any date and see the stock on that date and also the last uh, stock changes which happened due to that uh, before that date. Uh, we have stock valuation so if you have uh, filled in all the cost of the items uh, in the product in some tracker then you can get a stock valuation report you can download it for all locations or just uh, any one of them and we have the user actions log so that you know exactly uh, what the main actions were uh, taken by which user so with that i would also like to show uh, the user section so you can uh, invite different uh, people from your team to some tracker and you can also control uh, if they get low stock notifications and if they have permissions like uh, to change the product or change the stock levels and make the purchase order. So you can invite users and have as many users as your uh, plan permits. And we also have 
uh, import and export for everything in some tracker for example bundles you can just simply uh, import and export uh, them in order to create them or update them uh, same for product same for stock so we uh, if you want to do things in bulk then that is possible and the orders tab shows uh, all your orders that you have got uh, on all the stores with their correct statuses so the inventory is always being maintained uh, based on these order statuses in some tracker So that's it for the demo. Thank you. Thank you for watching.